And welcome back. Well, comedian John McGiver not only knows how to make us laugh, he knows how to tell a great story. John joins us live because he's got a new holiday show coming to the Paps Theater. It's called John McGiver and Up Close, but not too close for the holidays. Good to see you, John. Hey, Tiff. How are you? Thanks for having me on. I'm doing well. So good to see your face. But here's the thing. You know, people want to see you up, uh, up close and personal, and here's their chance. So people can go into a theater. They're going to see you do a live show for the holidays. They are, and Pabst has been really smart around this. What they've done is they've limited the seating in this 1,350 seat theater to 250 seats. And when you order tickets, you ordered it, order in, in either uh, sets of two, four, or six, and the, the, they're calling those pods, and the next pod is eight feet away. So it's socially distanced, they're taking temperatures. It's it's kind of the first kind of toe into the water with live performance in the city. So I'm thrilled that they called and asked if I would want to do my holiday show this season. And the fact that they took all of those safeguards, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to do it. Well, you should be. And I know obviously masks are required. You can take them off if you're drinking in your designated seat. But um, the other thing is in between each show, they're cleaning it. They're doing, uh, what is it, electro static spray and cleaning and sanitizing it. So they're truly taking high level precautions to make the theater safer. Yeah, I'm thrilled. And you know, the fact that I have done a holiday show probably for the last 15 years somewhere on stage, you know, if, if it was the Marcus Center or Next Act or Northern Lights of Potawatomi. So this year, you know, we, we, we talked not that long ago about yeah. the fact that you know, I um, since March 2nd was the last job that I did. So I thought, oh, this is going to be a season where, you know, I probably won't work until sometime next year. So when I got the call and the fact that I can share some of these stories and I've um, I've developed two brand new stories for this show around how we've all dealt and how I personally have dealt with this very odd, strange, weird sort of 2020. So it's 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 dealing with the pandemic. And so the, those are the top of the first act and the top of the second act. We'll share those present day stories. Well, I, I love that you brought that up. I mean, 2020 has been a tough one. I know it's been very difficult for you um, on yeah. so many levels as well. And so you're a comedian. People expect to laugh and they love your stories about growing up on Milwaukee's east side. Um, and I'm sure obviously the new ones about the pandemic, but I know that there's so much depth to so many of the stories that you carry and you share them with soul and heart. And so Thanks. I expect there's going to be a lot of ups and down emotions in your show this year. Is that something that you plan on delivering? I do. You know, I, I work with a, 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 a director, Ed Morgan, who was the associate artistic director of the Milwaukee Rep for years. So what we do is we get together and we've been we've been zooming these meetings the past three weeks. He gets into town today. And what we're going to do is what he does is he takes my stories and develops a thread mm. that creates a one you know, a, 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 a one show creates a piece out of my fragmented story. So I'm thrilled that that that, that we're, we're, we're bringing some of the old ones back that people, you know, really want to hear. And 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 you know, <laughs> there you go. That's that's <laughs> fine. Let's, no, it's so funny because we have six kids in our family and there's always pictures of uh, three, four or five kids. There's not one picture of the sixth kid, my sister Maureen. And she's like, what am I really <laughs> from this family? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's always one, right? Oh, there but look is. at that big family there. There we are. That was taken last year when, you know, I shared with your audience and with you that my mom passed on yes. April 2nd. So um, the last uh, Thanksgiving holiday with my mom, which was last year. And that's all kind of part of this journey as well that I'm talking about. Yeah. How do you make your way? You know, my mom was 92 and I am 65 years old and I'm like, oh, I've got now I have orphan stories, you know, and you, you expect people at the age of 92 that that they've lived a good life. And my mom did. But still, it's very odd, you know, every day when I think to call her and every sort of like, you know, we're coming up to the holidays, which will be the first holiday without my mom. And, it, and, and it, it's there's something incredibly strange and bittersweet and, and, and scary about this, this these next few holidays. I can hear it in your voice. And I think that yeah. resonates with so many of us that have lost loved ones. It's it's difficult. I think the firsts are the worst. 
You know, and I've yeah. always said that to people the year after when they kind of come to their one year anniversary, I say get, you know, I said the firsts are done, you know, so I know that that first year is, I mean, it doesn't make it any easier, but I think the first are the hardest. So the fact yeah. that you're willing to be that vulnerable and, and do it on a stage with people who come to be entertained and, and feel with you, I, I think this is something that everybody needs this year, a good laugh, a good cry. Thanks, thanks. You know, I always believe my stories are so specific to my experience, and I'm always like, you know, that they, these are my stories. But after I tell them, I, I hear from so many people saying, you know, the names are different, the streets are different, the time may be different, but what you spoke about is my story as well. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm always so incredibly surprised and grateful, but we talk about universal experience. We talk about what we all go through as human beings and, you know, to share that and to find some sort of, of connection around that is, you know, I, I, I'm so grateful I'm able to do that. Well, and don't you think just coming together and having a laugh in a group is yeah. going to feel so good again? I mean, yeah. so many of us, we haven't been able to do anything. And I think knowing that you can go to a place that you're going to feel safe, you're going to have that opportunity. I, I feel like it's going to breathe life into so many of us. I'm so excited that you're doing this at the Pabst. Thanks. And the Pabst, I'm doing it at the Pabst. Yeah. Which is really, what a, what a, it's an incredible, iconic, beautiful, old theater that really speaks to a time and speaks to what Milwaukee was and is under the leadership of Gary Witt and what they do at the Pabst. I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am and grateful that they called and asked that I be part of this. Uh, well, I'm so excited to come see you. I know you're just a couple blocks from me, so I can see you all the time, but I I, I'm excited to see you on stage doing your good things. So people can get tickets. I'm going to give the information. So good to see you, John. We love you. Thanks, Tiff. Love you. Absolutely. Thanks. Here's the information so you can get your tickets to John McGivern up close, but not too close for the holidays. It's November 20th through December 20th. PAPSTheater.org for tickets.